This is the Elba 45 by Fontaine Pajou. And my cat's up in Swanwick in Southampton invited me out to have a look at this one. So we're going to take you on board and we're going to give you the full tour. Stepping on at the back here and then we're straight up into this cockpit area. Now this is completely sheltered as you can see by this big hard top that comes all the way across it. There's another area outside on this boat as well which I'll show you as we get around to it. But this is great because it means in hot climbs of course you're very sheltered or if the weather's not quite so good it's also very useful. You've got dinghy handling on the back here. There are a couple of systems. This is Davits but there's also a lifting system that you can have as an option. And another option that this boat has is the barbecue under the back. Quite a nice thing to have just there. What I think we'll do is we'll take a turn around the inside first and then work our way out. This one's got the fridge in the cockpit and in fact there's also fridge units here as well. So those are inside and this is the interior. Now you can have a dining table here if you prefer. You can also have a table that converts into more of a coffee table style or you can have it as we've got it here which works very well and then the galley is over on this side. A lot of light in here because it's a very light finish but you've also got these big overhead skylights and the lighting. Some very neat lighting solutions in this boat. There's a proper oven, there's the grill over here and then this is all storage all in and around places like this. So you've got plenty of places to keep everything. The sink over here and that I think is a freezer. Now this is a three cabin layout. I'm going to take you down this side first of all, which is for your guests, and I'll show you the owner's area afterwards because that's rather spectacular. So if we step down here, we're now going down into one of the two hulls of course. So up here we've got one of the cabins. Again, some rather nice lighting that we've done it underneath the beds like this. And up through, that's really good. Decent sized windows in here. There's a hatch up overhead as well. You can see the mast actually up through that one. And, uh, and there's blinds that come across here for a bit of privacy, of course. This is all storage up in places like this. And then as we come back, if I close that door over, you've got storage and hanging in there. This has its own ensuite. So your loo and your sink and a shower. And this of course is the cabin door so you can close this off for privacy. But if we head on back, I'm just going to show you this because if you wanted a washer dryer that's where that would go. But we'll head right to the back and then this is another of the guest cabins. Very good size. You can get around the bed. I like the big window in at the back which gives you a nice view out across the back of the boat. Again you've got the, the opening hatch with the blinds and then the side windows as well. So that's very nice. And as you'd expect the ensuite is just in that side. And then behind this door, again, you've got loads more storage. Excellent. Okay, let's head out of here. And we'll go back up through the saloon and head down the other side because this is what you get as an owner. And it's rather palatial. So, Bed is at this end. It's a nice size, you can get pretty much right round it as well, which is great. Again, it's got the window in the transom, which is nice, and the side windows. The reason it's got that square in the window is that's an opening section for a bit of ventilation. You've also got things like big drawers underneath the bed. And of course, there's masses of storage in here, as you can imagine, because this is all for the owner, this entire hull. So, not short of space, as little desk or dressing table here and this is actually a sliding door so if you want privacy you can pull that across and of course yeah more storage in behind it and up there. What's nice of this one is this ensuite 
This is lovely. Look at the size of this. Very nice indeed. And if you come around here, that is your shower area. And then ahead of this, that's the toilet. Fantastic. Okay, let's head back down here. I'm going to take you on a tour of the outside. It's got an area I wasn't actually expecting on the outside. I'm going to show you that next. So we'll come back out through here. Slip the shoes back on. So this then is the helm position. This one's got the optional canopy over it and around it. So you can enclose this as we have it at the moment, or you can take all this right off, of course. There's a twin seat here. And this is then where you would drive the boat from. Helm the boat from. Let's get the terminology right, shall we? Very good. Engine controls are here, twin engines, of course, one in each hull, and the wheel is here. But the area I wasn't expecting is if we step up here, you've got a really great outside cockpit. And what I like about that is you've got that wonderful big social area out the back of the boat, which is underneath the hardtop, but then this is completely open. So it's a proper best of both worlds situation. Some pads are up here as well. I think they've done a really nice job with that. This has got a fully battened mainsail, so that just pulls straight up like so. And then it's a roller furling foresail up on the bow. And in fact, talking of that, we'll head that way and take a look. So back down here, and what we'll do this time is head out to the outside of the boat. And of course, being a catamaran, acres of space, really wide decks to walk around. That's that saloon area, so you can see the big windows all the way around. You can see why there's so much light into there, and indeed air, because it's got the opening section right at the front. And then we're up here. You can have a Jenica on here as an option as well, if you prefer. And then over here is the anchor chain locker and the winch and so forth. And then under the other side, That's a massive, I mean really massive, bit of storage. So if you wanted things like generator, that's where that would go. Excellent. Let's head on all the way around. There, you can see that cockpit space up on the top. I think that's a brilliant idea. And we'll come right to the back and we'll finish off was a look at the motors. So there's one underneath here, the sail drives, and they are diesel engines, of course. Let's have a look at this one. In fact, I'll come back here, it'll be easier. Hook that one up. There we go. So there's two of these, as I say, one over in the other hull as well. And this is a Volvo Penta D2 60 horsepower engine. 50 is standard, and this is an upgrade. And they run through a sail drive. So the sail drive is a system that takes the power straight down and that's the propeller and you can have a folded propeller as an option if you want to. Very good. Very good indeed. So let's drop that one back down. And I think I want to finish off back up at that top area because that's really pleased me that has. I wasn't expecting to find that when I went up there. I think it's a great use of space. So. I am going to sit over here and say thank you to MI Cats for organising that tour for me. It's much appreciated and thank you as ever to you guys for watching. We look forward very much to catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.